John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of a very cool guitar. It's the Newman six string. Okay, true confession, it's not really, the, there is no model number, but my colleague Joe Gore called it the Newman six string, so that works for him, works for me. Uh, in short, a little history about this. The late Ted Newman Jones was Keith Richards' guitar tech from 72 to 78. And a lot of you right, might remember back in the day, Keith playing this guitar. Maybe not on that song, but he played this guitar. Not this actual guitar, but one very similar to this. So years went by and his friend, a guy named Jeff Smith, decided to replicate these famous guitars. Now back in the day, there was a six string version and a five string version, and I think there is now. Uh, so I'll tell you all about it after I tell you about how recording this. It couldn't be simpler, I'm just plugging Newman directly into this Fender Supersonic, going between the clean and dirty channel, miking it with a Royer R121 mic that's going into Apache Quartet and into Pro Tools. So just plugging in, blowing, and going. So let me tell you the basic nuts and bolts. We'll start with this very cool offset body design, almost like a Salvador Dali telly, you know, just kind of dripping. Very cool. I remember pictures of, of um, Keith back in the day playing this very guitar. Uh, and also Bob Dylan had one. Um, Willie Nelson had one. Uh, Tom Petty had one. So... It's a cool time machine. So maple body, which gives it a lot of high end um, and snap, which is totally Keith's thing. Uh, makes sense. Going along with that, talking about Keith's thing and snap, uh, he went with his Tele bridge with going right through the body like that. Bolt on next construction, as you can see. This offset gives you all this neck access way up there. I mean, so really great great design um, simple three uh, uh, volume tone three-way switch cool thing here these EMGs this is these are passive EMGs it's a H4 in the bridge and an H4A in the neck uh, they're passive but they are really great sounding again very snappy you know If I was doing a blind taste test on that, I couldn't tell you what that was. It doesn't really sound like a humbucker. Uh, sounds kind of telly-ish. And it is dead quiet. So really cool. Um, other, uh, other bits, you got hip shot tuners that lock. I like that. Uh, let's see, fretboard really feels buttery man i mean it's a great setup on these jumbo frets and i believe this is an ebony fingerboard but it feels great he really took his time set it up it feels like a like a custom guitar you know not something mass produced it feels really like a lot of attention and detail went in to making this neck feel like an old friend so why don't I quit yakking and just go through some of the tones. So as you can hear, it does that telly thing well. But put it in the middle. my ears, that's almost kind of stratish. And 
nice, right? It's the ultimate Strat test right there, that song. That's great. The neck, I love that, just rich and full. Now, when we add a little dirt, see what it does. by these EMGs too, as you roll your volume down. Notice how you don't lose any high end. Maybe a tiny bit, but usually, you know, when you roll down your volume like that, you're gonna lose a whole lot. This is just, just sounds quieter. down that tone really expressive so you got to hand it to Jeff Smith to bring back part of rock and roll history I don't know what the original Newman's played like, but this one plays great, and I can only imagine those were equally cool. So, good on ya. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com, or, hell, buy the magazine. Read it at home, wherever you like. Um, also, when you're online, check out Facebook, Premier Guitar Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube especially. We've got endless hours of fun on that. This is John Bolger, kicking at Old School Stones. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.